Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play one of these nights as recorded by the Eagles on guitar. Now this is an awesome song that has some incredible guitar work in it. I'm gonna break down a main guitar part through the entire song for you. We're gonna start off with the intro that has these really cool high chord stabs up at the 12th fret. Then we're gonna go into a funky rhythm and I'll show you the chord shapes that I would use through the whole thing. But real quick, if this is the first video you've seen on my channel, you're gonna wanna grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is a PDF that I put together that's gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And I think about this when I'm playing anything on guitar in any style, whether it's a lead part or a rhythm part, it fits into this system. And I wanna give it to you completely for free as my gift to you. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. All right, well with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play one of these nights as recorded by the Eagles. Now the tune kicks off with this intro progression and you've got this really cool bass line doing the slide up. And there's just these high sort of stabs that come in here on an E minor chord. And this is way up here at the 12th fret. It's gonna go like this. One, two, and three, and four. What I'm playing here is just three notes. I'm using my index finger to bar the 12th fret on the third, second, and first strings. Now I'm gonna play an up strum on those strings and then right after I do that, I'm gonna rest and just mute off the strings. So it's nice and staccato, nice and short. Now rhythmically, this happens on the and of four. So we're gonna count one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four. And you just repeat that on the and of four. Now underneath that is this progression. So what I'm playing here is actually what's gonna be used for the verse progression as well. So I'm starting on an E minor chord and I'm playing just a bar chord up here at the seventh fret, starting on the fifth string. Seven, nine, nine, eight, seven. Then from there, I'm gonna drop down to a D6 chord. And that's a D bar chord, but I'm gonna grab the first string as well. So I'm playing five, seven, 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 seven. Then I go to C major seven, which looks like this. All my fingers lined up in a row starting on the seventh fret of the first string. I'm gonna go seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if you can, you can put your thumb on the eighth fret of the low E string. That's a great chord there, C major seven. Now that's gonna go for two bars. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, stay there. Then we move to A minor which is gonna be played here at the fifth fret, five, seven, seven, five, 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 for two bars. Then go back to E minor for a bar. One, two, three, four. Then we get out of this whole intro, we go. And we just hit these hits, and then the vocals come in one of these nights. And what I'm playing there for the B minor is just the same thing as A minor just up two frets, so seven, nine, nine, seven, seven, seven. So all together, the chord progression here for the intro is gonna go like this. One, two, three, four. Then 
Then when you get to that last chord, you can strum just four down strums as eighth notes. And then you rest. So that's the intro. Now, on top of that, there is that other guitar doing the high stabs. One, and two, and three, and four, and two, and three, and four, and, and it's just holding E minor over all of those chords as they change. It's really cool. Now, if those chords are too hard, you could always substitute them. You could play E minor, then G, then C major seven like this, then A minor, then E minor, then do the B minor down here. So that might make it a little bit easier. These chords just sound really good. higher up the neck, and you get a little bit more control with them, especially later when we go into the verse where we're gonna play funkier. So that's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Alright, so for this verse progression here, we're playing the same thing as we do in the intro chord-wise, but we're changing up the rhythm a little bit. We're going to play a little funkier. Let me give you just a sample pattern that you can play. It's going to sound like this if I just play it on the E minor. So I'm doing two strums on the first beat. I'm playing on the one, one E and a, uh, and then I'm playing on the last 16th note. So in my mind, I'm thinking one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, and I'm subdividing the beats into four parts. So one E and a, uh, that's down, up, and then two and, I'm gonna play two scratch strums after that. So one E and a, two and. I'm just kind of being lazy with my hand and just keeping the groove going in eighth notes. And then on beat three and four, I'm gonna play the downbeat hitting the chord three and, and then I'll just mute right afterwards and do a scratch strum. So three and four and. So one and a two and three and four and. You're just getting that groove. Then what you do is you put that with those changes. So. So that's the verse. Now it goes again. We're gonna play the exact same thing, except in the last bar, we're gonna change the rhythm. And we're gonna have this hit on beat two. This is gonna sound like this. And then we go into the chorus. So I go one, and then on B two, you hit the B minor chord. So it's a rest on one, and then a hit on B two. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then we go into these oohs, someone to be kind to. We're gonna play the chorus here. That's the lyrics. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. All right, in the chorus, we have one new chord. We're gonna play a G major seven. And that's gonna be played from the fifth string down like this. 10, nine, seven, seven, seven. Now, we start the chorus though on a C major seven. And here the chords are gonna last two bars each. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, Four, then go to G major seven for two bars. A one, two, three, then back to C. Three, four, one, two, three, 
four. Then we'll go to A minor for a bar. One, two, three, four. Then we'll move up to B minor and do those hits like we did in the intro. And then we're back to the verse. So that's the progression for the chorus. Strumming wise, I would add that same rhythm, that Now there is this little walk up you can do when you go back to the verse. You go and you just hit the note D on the fifth fret of the fifth string. And that's on beat four. So one and two and three and four and one. And then you're back to the verse progression. Now the guitar solo is actually played over the verse progression. It's gonna sound like this. And again. Then we end the tune just going back and forth from C major seven to G major seven for two bars each. And this is how it fades out, just like this. So you just vamp those two chords all the way out. Keep working on that funky rhythm and make sure to go and play this along with the recording and listen to the recording a lot. That's what we wanna do is we're trying to emulate what we hear on records. So you gotta train your ears, you gotta train your hands and then put it all together. And that's why the parts that I show you here, I do things in the original keys and I try and show you real world guitar parts that are gonna go and line right up with the recording. I'm not making this stuff up, it's just what I'm taking from the recordings and that's what you wanna do. And to help you even more, be sure to pick up my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And you just need five and you can play in any key and in any style. And I'll show you how to do that. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Next, I wanna hear from you. Leave a comment and let me know your number one Eagles song that you would like to see me teach here on the channel. Just comment it down below. As always, thanks for your support and we'll see you in another video real soon. Mm -hmm.